Ay, I told you I was lit. Ay, I told you I won't quit. Ay, watch you make this hit. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. What's up, what's good, my nana lovies and gents, okay? What's up, what's good? What's up, what's good with you? What's up, what's good with you? I just want to take a moment to say thank you to all my new subscribers. You are all welcomed here to watch my video. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to get to the point, all right, because I ain't trying to talk too much. So, today, you know, I just decided to read the ingredients on my shampoo bottle. You know, it's just, I decided to read them and do a video on it because we should know what's in our shampoo and what we're putting into our bodies, you know, like, because that's important, like, Cause they, they be putting some real toxic stuff into these shampoos and they be saying organic and they don't be organic. So we gonna see if this is really organic or if they just playing games, okay? So the shampoo I'll be looking up the ingredients for is this 365 Whole Foods Market shampoo. Huh, okay. <laughs> Strength and vitality shampoo. All right, with honey and coconut. Coconut, coconut, coconut. So, um, this is the list of ingredients right here. You guys probably can't really read it, but this is a very small list of ingredients. Um, some of these, at first glance, is a little hard to pronounce. But, um, I looked up, how many did I look up? I have my little handy dandy notebook. I looked up six or seven of the ingredients. I basically looked up the ones that was kind of looking weird, like I couldn't pronounce it. So, yeah, that's what I looked up. So, we're just going to get into it. All right. So, the first ingredient that I read on the bottle that I looked up was coca mitopropyl hydroxy sultane. That sounds very scary. <laughs> but when I looked it up, and yes, I have sources of where I got this information. I didn't just make this stuff up. So, yeah. If you want to see more about this, I'll have links in the description. So, look down there. Okay, okay. So, coca mydopropyl hydroxy sultane. <laughs> um, it's used as a surfacant or co-surfacant or a cur a surfactant. I said that so wrong. It's used in uh, it's used as a cleansing property and to lather, like the soap that comes out of the shampoo is the is this uh, chemical here. Yeah, it's not a naturally occurring compound. So yeah, I will have the definition of surfactant on the screen. I will. Put that in there for you guys so you can understand because i'm learning myself so yeah the next ingredient that i read was excuse me so full low rate low rate low rate so full low rate sodium methyl this is also a surfactant and a foaming agent um, it is coconut derived. Coconut derived means it's from a coconut. Yeah. And then we have cetyl betaine. Cetyl betaine. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll put it on the screen. Um, it's a mild surfactant. I'm guessing surfactant is like, it's another word for cleanser. But like I said, I'll put on the, the screen what it means. Um... It's also a gentle cleanser. Um, the fourth one that I looked up was tetrasodium glutamate diacetate. It's vegetable based. I don't know what the heck I wrote. It's vegetable based uh, derived from plants often found in sunscreen, facial cleansers, shampoo and makeup and whatever else you can think of that is for like cleansing or things for your body. 
I guess this, this ingredient is included in there. Um, it's not a strong skin irritant. It's not a strong skin irritant, according to research. <laughs> like I said, I will have the websites so you guys can look for yourself. <laughs> but you know, they research be lying sometimes. Cause some of these shampoos, you know, I be real itchy sometimes after I use some of these shampoos. I feel like they be lying to us. They really be lying to us about what's in these shampoos. I'm telling you, they lying. They lying. Talking about it don't irritate your skin. All these chemicals, you saying they don't irritate? Okay. And then there's sodium benzoate. This ingredient is found in a lot of cleaning products. Like I see this ingredient a lot in products that I buy. Um, it's used to keep product fresh and prevent degrading. So it is a preservative. Yeah. It is a preservative, basically, to have the product have a lasting shelf life, okay? Um, it's also used for medicinal purposes. Medicinal means medical purpose. It means medical purposes and other functions. Um, I found this on the Healthline website, so I don't know how accurate this stuff is, but this is where I found it. Like I said, it'll be in the description down below if you want to know more click on that link um also sodium benzoate i don't know if i'm saying this right but it can convert to a potential cancer agent which is benzene yeah benzene which is a known carcinogen and you know as i was reading this i was like seriously can we have one shampoo without any toxic toxicity in anything like can we just have something really natural for our hair like we're putting this on our head like why does it have toxic chemicals in it i don't get it i really don't get it like why can't we just have a really natural product for our natural hair to prosper and not have to have an allergic reaction after using it so many times I don't understand the, the logic of these people. I just don't. But anyway, so that was the bad thing I found about that ingredient. Um, the other ingredients, I didn't really find any, anything bad about them, per se. Um, not saying that they're all good, but who knows? Because they could be lying. But it's just what I found. But that's the only one I found something bad about it. Um, then the last one that I looked up was Gar Hydroxy Profil Trimonium Chloride. That's a long one. That's a long sentence. Okay. Long sentence on the bottom. It's an organic compound and it's derived from a cluster bean. I'll put it on the screen for you guys so you can see what a cluster bean is. Um, it's also found in many cleaning products and it helps to keep the hair moisturized um, within the shampoo. So I guess that's the moisture in the natural shampoo so that your hair doesn't dry out. You know, so I was just thinking like all these natural chemicals, like how natural are they? Why can't they just really be natural? Why are these names so long? I just have so many unanswered questions. Um, so, so far, I can say that this is, this is a natural shampoo, but I'm a little, st I'm still a little skeptical because why is it that these words are so long? Like these chemicals just cannot be natural. Although they say they're natural, like, are they really natural? Like, it's always a question. But anywho. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to insert pictures and diagrams, whatever I can find to help you understand what the heck I just was talking about with these ingredients in the shampoo. Um, if you want to see another one like this, let me know what shampoo you would like me to do. Comment down below, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Deuces.
So, <clears throat> what's up, my nana lovers and gents? Welcome to another video. Hey, I told you I was lit. Hey, I told you I won't quit. Hey, watch you make a tip.